Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you how you can easily downgrade A10 and A10X devices to any iOS version they ever ran without a jailbreak, tethered, without blobs, and with everything working, all the SAP features, app installations, and after we downgrade our device to let's say for this video to iOS 10.3.3, we will also jailbreak it. And we will also test the app installations along with the SAP features. The method we share in this video is completely free and we will be using Thirdest Merula to downgrade our device on Linux. I am using X Ubuntu 22.04. You can use Ubuntu. As you can see it right here, I have this iPhone 7 right here, which is currently running iOS 15.8.4. Now from the link in the description or in the pinned command, get Tardis Mariola for Linux. You will see a tar file and you will also see a complete written guide there for your ease. After you get the file, simply right click, extract here and you will see this folder right here. Open it and you will find these two files. Before you begin, simply go back and get the IBSW for the target iOS version. For me, I have got the 10.3.3 IPSW. Now to get the IPSW for your device, you can visit IPSW.me. It is completely free. Simply select your device from here. I'm using an iPhone. Scroll down and select your device. So I'm using an iPhone 7 GSM. If you check out the device information, it is an iPhone 9 comma 3 simply scroll down and get the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade let's say iOS 10.3.3 and simply get the IPSW from here to your computer first now if you are having difficulty identifying your device you can simply hit identify my device you can either see the model number from the back of your device or from the about section simply type it here then hit identify my device now after you get the IPSW right click then open a new terminal and then you will have to install some dependencies to make it work you will see all these in the written guide at the link in the description or in the pinned comment you can simply paste press enter type in your Linux password and press enter again once the process is complete you are good to go you can close out of this terminal now open the extracted Tardis Marula folder then open a new terminal then type sudo space chmod plus x drag and drop the file here press enter type in the password press enter again again type sudo space chmod plus x space drag the other file in press enter and you are good to go open a new terminal and then simply paste sudo space system ctl space stop usb max d and then type sudo usb max d space hyphen p space hyphen f before you run these commands simply plug your device in via usb press enter type in your linux password now if you see a dialog on your device to trust please hit trust now in case you see these errors don't panic simply unplug your device plug it in after you run the command now leave this terminal running you can simply minimize it now simply go to the folder where these two files are in right click then open a new terminal type sudo space dot slash the file name ring underscore lib usb hyphen e d capital press enter type in your linux password now at this point simply get your device to dfu all right you will see this text and then you will see that your device is now in pawn dfu mode the screen of your device will stay black now being in this terminal type sudo space dot slash now run the other file i device restore hyphen o give it a space go back and drag the ipsw into the terminal press enter you can see that it has identified my device type one and press enter the process can take some time or right. after the files are downloaded you will see this message you will have to type yes in capital please note doing so will erase all data so if you have important data on your device please back it up before typing yes then hit enter now wait for the restore process the downgrade process to finish the screen on your device should turn green you will see a check ring logo and some text please wait here until this is complete all right you will see a spinner on your device and it will now enter the restore mode 
If your device gets stuck here, please don't panic. You can simply restart USB Mux D and then repeat the process and it will work. On your device, you will simply see an Apple logo with a bar beneath it. Alright, as you can see, the restore, the downgrade is successful. Now your device will go into recovery mode. But we will have to get it into DFU mode. Before you do so, make sure you are in the same directory where you have extracted the Turdus Marula. Or if you have closed the terminal, you can open a new terminal here where the two files were located. Then run a command sudo space dot slash train underscore lib USB hyphen T. Next to these two files, you will see this image 4 folder. Open it. You will see these three files. At the T, simply drag the iboot.img4 file into terminal. Now type hyphen i, give it a space. Now drag the signed sep.img4 file into the terminal. Now type hyphen p, give it a space. And then simply drag and drop the target version sep file. Press enter. Now get your device into DFU mode. All right, my device is now in DFU. You can see the process is ongoing. You'll see a booting screen, some text going on. You'll see the chat train logo. Please wait until this process is finished. If it is stuck, you can always restart USB Mux D, leave the terminal running, minimize it, and run the command. All right, the command is now complete. The device should now boot iOS 10.3.3 or any version which you have selected as a downgrade. Please note that this is a tethered downgrade. So each time you turn off your device or if your device turns off, like if its battery runs out, you will have to run this process, the last one again. As you can see it right here, this device has successfully booted iOS 10.3.3. So simply set it up. All right, you can see the device is now activating. All right, as you can see, it is now successfully activated. And you can see all the SEP features like the Touch ID work without any problem. You can also set a passcode if you want. I will set up it as a new phone. All right, as you can see, 10.3.3. Now, just to show you that, yes, you can install apps like I install the Meridian jailbreak tool right here. And when you go to settings, general device management, you can easily trust it without any issues and you can open the app or you can use the appropriate jailbreak tool for your version which you have downgraded and jailbreak your device or if you are on ios 10.3.3 use this online method to jailbreak your device on 10.3.2 10.3.3 simply go to this official link then simply follow the process then hit ok the device will automatically respring after the respring simply go in and you will see zebra package manager on your home screen open it accept you can see the version right here, iOS 10.3.3, it's an iPhone 7. You have packages which you can easily upgrade. And now you are free to install your tweaks. The Touch ID, passcode and all the other SEP features work without issues. You can set a passcode and it works without problem. Now since it is a tethered downgrade, each time you turn off your device or your battery runs out, it will be stuck in DFU or recovery mode, you will have to simply follow this last process I did earlier to boot your device into the downgraded iOS version. That's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.